What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about the uses of logarithms in real life, particularly on earthquakes. So, let's go! Okay, so right now we're going to talk about the Richter scale. Richter scale is formulated by Charles Richter. It is used to find the magnitude of the earthquake using this formula. R equals 2 over 3 log E over 10 to the power of 4.40 where R is the magnitude and E is the energy released in joules. Using the Richter scale, we can find the magnitude when the energy released in joules is given. But today, we're going to talk about Finding the energy released in joules using the magnitude given. Okay, we were tasked to search the latest earthquake here in Bohol and use its magnitude to find the energy released by it. According to my research, the latest earthquake happened in Bohol was last July 19, 2020 at exactly 5.43 p.m. The epicenter was at Balilihan, Bohol. It was not damaging at all since the magnitude of the earthquake is only 3.5. Now, we're gonna use the Richter scale and derive a formula from it to solve the energy released of the earthquake. Okay, first things first, we're gonna write the given of the problem, which is the magnitude. 3.5. Since we're gonna look for E, we have to substitute the given and derive a new formula from it. So from R, it will become 3.5 equals to 2 thirds log E over 10 to the power of 4.40. Since a logarithm is an inverse of an exponential function, which is Y is equals to b to the power of x, where b is our base, we're gonna use that relationship of the two to find e. We're gonna use this as our y, 10 as our base, since the base of the Richter scale is 10, and 3.5 as our x. Since we're looking for e, we have to transform this whole equation into an exponential function. But how? First, we have to get rid of 2 thirds. To get rid of 2 thirds, we have to multiply the reciprocal of 2 over 3, which is 3 halves on each side. So it will become 3 over 2 times 3.5 equals 2 over 3 log e over 10 to the power 4.40 times 3 over 2. Now this will be cancelled since if we multiply each other, we're going to come up with 1. And we're going to multiply 3 halves to 3.5. Using our calculators, we come up with 5.25 equals log. We're going to write our base 10 e over 10 to the power 4.40. Since we have now our y, our base, and our x, we can now transform the equation into an exponential function, which is going to be e over 10 to the power of 4.40 equals 10 to the power of 5.25. To solve this, we have to multiply both sides with 10 to the power of 4.40 so that E will remain to this side and we're gonna find the answer on that side. E equals 10 to the power of 5.25 times 10 to the power of 4.40. We're going to use our cal calculator so we can compute this quickly. It's going to be E equals 4,466,835,921.5096.4 or 
I'm gonna round it up. It's going to be four billion four hundred sixty-six million eight hundred thirty-five thousand nine hundred twenty-two. Or in scientific notations, it's going to be four point four six six eight three five nine two times ten to the power of nine. So our final answer is. 4.466.8592 times 10 to the power of 9 joules. So, using this derived formula, we can now find the energy released by the 3.5 magnitude earthquake, which 4. is 4.466.8392 times 10 to the power of 9 joules. Okay, so to sum everything up, we start with the Richter scale and we multiply the given magnitude with the reciprocal of 2 over 3 to cancel it out, which is going to be 3 over 2 times the magnitude equals log base 10 times e over 10 to the power of 4.40. Now from this logarithmic equation, we're gonna transform it into a exponential equation, y equals b to the power of x where e over 10 to the power 4.40 is our y and 3 over 2 times the magnitude given is our b to the power of x and that's how you're, you're going to compute for the energy released in joules when you are only given the magnitude okay so that sums up our lesson for today this has been Andy Maramba your bummy math cheater peace out <laughs>